All right, it's a day of the sports festival. Everyone's having a good time, and Bakugo isn't a complete asshole. Yes, he's been humbleized by the likes of Izuku and Toga. Not to mention, yeah, Izuku ain't the weak, broccoli-headed boy anymore. If anything, he's still some more of a cinnamon roll, just... He's he's been begging a little bit longer. He he's toughened up a little. First, the speech. Izuku is the one that gives it, and it is a nice one. So no one is really wanting to destroy one A. Well, any more than they did before. But because of the whole race, Izuku having more control over it, he knows he can win. He has faith in himself, and yeah, that power of like 23, 24% one for all doesn't hurt either. The only thing is, Toga knows this as well. So, before the race actually begins, Toga, whilst the Terminator, takes two of his sticky balls and plants them on Izuku's arms. So, he has n no choice but to legit carry Toga the whole time. So yeah, you can just imagine how somewhat upset he is. Not to mention everyone else considering that did she really just steal victory from everybody here? Oh, that's so unfair. Then they look back at Momo saying huh, I would have never expect her to be this slow. All things considered, I thought she was very fit until they look behind and she's a it's Mineta. It's like, thank you for the idea, Toga. It's like, why does it feel why does it feel so wrong to get me thanked by you? Uh, um, you don't have to say it like that. It's like, no, I I feel kind of wrong getting praise from you. Make you feel dirty. Wow. You didn't have to say it like that. It's just my opinion. I'm sorry, but... You are a creep. Understood. As soon as it comes out that, yeah, Izuku has the 10 million. Toga, she is not deterred. Having stayed with Izuku and Inko, being able to train with them, and yeah, there's there's no way he's gonna, gonna really lose here. He has a lot of power in his corner, so she obviously teams up with him. She doesn't allow anyone else to really team up with them, except Oraka and May. It's a, the reason why Oraka is because Toga actually does somewhat like Oraka. And she's already let it be known that, yeah, I already have Izuku on lock, so we don't even try anything. When it comes to Mei, all she wants is a spotlight. So, yeah, no, no real competition there. In which, everyone who does try just get blown away through Izuku's air pressure and it is funny as hell to watch when it comes to Todoroki and Bakugo yeah all it takes is two finger flicks for Todoroki's eyes to be completely demolished them sent flying Bakugo he is legit in the air flying like if anything, he would be singing, I believe I can fly. You know that song. I know you, he would, or Kelly did, but the song was. The song will always be remain in everyone's head as soon as someone starts humming it. <clears throat> so, Izuku and his team keep those points. When it comes to the whole final fights, Izuku versus Shinso. Yeah, he's more cautious around this 
Because Toby hasn't been like, yeah, the, being a hothead is not a good thing. I know he might try some slick shit, like insult someone or whatnot, but that does not mean you lose your cool. Okay? A smooth ship can't... Uh, I think you messed up your little saying. Like, whatever. If anything, uh, don't lose. What makes you think? He got Ojiro to do whatever he wanted. Uh, uh, that's true. Oh well, I'll try my best. As soon as Shinso starts insulting people, Izuku, he's just keeping his mouth shut. Mm -mm 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 -mm, I, I, I ain't falling for that crap. It's when he starts insulting Toga that it strikes a chord with him. Oh, and it is terrifying. Izuku, as soon as he punches the ground, the whole arena shakes. It starts to crack under the weight of his punch. As well as the air pressure being able to launch Shinso clear out of the ring. Izuku yelling at him saying, don't talk about my toga. All, all the women in the audience are pretty much just like, oh, that's so sweet. While well, the dudes is like, all right, he's going to be a good hero. Toga blushing in the stands, but also very happy that Izuku cares that much. Oraka, kind of salty, but she can't deny that they do honestly love each other. She, she can't help but admire that. When it comes to yeah, Shinso's little debut, Izuku does apologize for losing his cool and everything but she still you no know, that was my fault too I'm, I'm sorry I should I shouldn't have done that I, I didn't know how you were gonna react I just need you to talk I didn't think you were gonna go berserk on me like that oh that's not berserk what no hurting toga would made me go berserk what huh you, you, you don't know about the USJ do you Oh, I know that you guys just fought villains and... Oh, here. Take take a look at this. Him taking out his phone and saying... Seeing what happened when Izuku saw Toga get hurt. Him versus the Nomu almost killing Shigaragi. Yeah. Just those thinking his lucky stars that he didn't do anything that could compromise his safety too much. Hmm. So yeah, you are. You're pretty scary. Oh, I don't want to be, but when the time comes, it pays to be a little spooky. Yeah, I'll remember that. As yeah, they bury the hatchet. When it comes to Izuku versus Toroki, Izuku's holding back. And everyone can see it. All things is there compared to the fight with Shinzo and the cavalry battle. Because Endeavor did talk to him. So, yeah, I'll get my son to use his other side and yada yada yada, all that. It kind of was like, yeah, I'll do it, but not because you told me to. Just walking off. Endeavor's. Smug bastard. As soon as it begins, and everyone sees how he's holding back, they're just thinking, okay, this is getting boring. Everyone wanted to know, where was that fire before? From before, come on, man. He's holding back, so why shouldn't I? Everyone's shocked at seeing Toroki, saying, seeing how he's tired, he's... Feeling the effects of his quirk, he's like, I'm not, uh, I'm not holding back. 
Yes, you are. You have a fire side, too. Why aren't you using it? Flashback, flash forward, and you know what happened already. Izuku does his whole speech, and Todoroki's fire side is reawakened. Only thing is, it's still nothing compared to Izuku, who, who has so much control over one for all, and punches the air, sending Todoroki flying. The attack Todoroki threw at Izuku in canon still happens. The explosion just leans more towards Izuku winning. Next. Oh. Sorry, Ida, I got clown you again. All it takes is Izuku pretty much tripping Ida, just like usual. I mean, Ida does try using his visible burst. This, the thing is, Izuku is a hell of a lot faster. <sighs> yeah. Next is when uh, Izuku versus Bakugo. And. Bago being being humble, at least a hell of a lot more humble than he would be in canon by now, he actually has a strategy. As long as he can keep Izuku out of balance, keep him confused, keep moving, don't let him catch him, he's, good, he's golden. The only thing is, when Izuku is focused on capturing Bakugo, Black Whip shows up. And engulfs the whole stage, grabbing Bako and slamming him a lot. Let's just say he's a good one by a KO. Being able to be pretty much reined in thanks to Aizawa, but Bako is heavily damaged. And isn't even able to attend the ceremony. So, yeah, Izuku does feel bad on one hand, but yeah, he can't deny that. <laughs> that if he didn't do that, Bongo would have dragged this thing out as long as he wanted. Possibly towering out Izuku. When it comes to actually staying attacking Genium. This time, Ejidium isn't out on patrol, so he doesn't get attacked. You must be wondering, wait, why, why won't he? It's like, because of Ida. Ida have heard about this, the whole hero killer before. Not to mention, with Izuku as strong as he is, he wants to show off to his brother. So he made... Tensei promised that he would be there to watch him uh, pretty much try to dominate the sports festival. He ended up losing, but Tensei is still safe. In fact, when it's heard that a villain, well, he's staying did attack a hero, Tensei is both upset that he wasn't there to help, but also somewhat relieved because that could have been him. So if anything, he, they said he are pretty much saying how strong Izuku is, trying pretty much lighting a fire in which he you know, wants to be an even better hero. He indirectly saved Tensei, at least his hero career. When it comes to the whole internships. Togo, she does want to be with Izuku, but it's like, nah, I'm going with Black, Black King. Yeah, we both have blood based quirks, so. Yeah, it, it could work. As Which, as soon as Izuku does see that Gran Torino presumably dead, he is a little bit worried, but then he's. Wait, check the pulse. We always check the pulse. Oh, duh. As soon as he does, you're okay. Then you just say, that's not blood. That's ketchup. Man, you're no fun. It's like, 
I should have known. <sighs> Seriously, what, what what are you? Hey, you, you, you gotta you gotta lighten up sometimes, kid. It, or else life will just be boring. Him having flashbacks of Toga. My life is exciting enough. Thank you. Oh yeah, that girlfriend of yours. Yep. So, tell me about this n new quirk you got. Oh yeah, it's kind of like a... It's Black Whip. If anything, it's weird. Hmm. So how do you use one for all? Well, I'll charge it throughout my whole body and regulate the power. Making sure it doesn't put too much strain on my body. As well as, you know. Oh. Hmm. So if anything, you look like you need more shock absorbent, or at least something to help brace your body, strengthen it. Besides just working out. If anything, we don't want to repeat what you did at the USJ. Now, do we? <coughs> okay, I did that under well certain circumstances. Yeah, your girl got hurt. I understand that, but. She's going to be a lot more hurt if he, she has to bury you. You're right. Of course I'm right. Now, show me this black whip thing again. From what I can see... Huh. Interesting. What do you mean? Well, think of it like this. What if you used it as a brace? What? Think of it like you wrapping your your body in it. Think of it like as armor. And with it being already enhanced with one for all, it's that much stronger. You get it? I kind of do, yeah. Good. Now, when it comes to the whole control thing, Oh, I don't really got much to teach you, but I can at least try to help you master this second quirk. But I think that's the whole extent of my expertise. Come on, let's go patrolling. Which, as soon as the nose attack, Isuku just asks, Can I use my quirks? Do you give me permission to use them? Gran Torino. He's skeptical, he doesn't really want to risk Izuku getting hurt, or worse, but seeing what he did at the sports festival, fine, but don't get yourself killed. And alert me if, whenever you get uh, overwhelmed. Thank you. As the carnage ensues, and since Izuku knows that the no moves aren't alive, but technically just brain dead, he slaughters them. Well, as well as testing out Black Whip in several different ways. Using it as, yes, a whip, a capture tool, and one time, just to see if it would work, turned it into a sword and cut off Nobu's head. Him just looking at all this is like, oh man. I've been spending a lot of time with Toga, and now her craziness is starting to rub off on me. Him just thinking about it back is like, you know what? I don't mind it. But it's when he sees Stain about to kill Native. Is uh, crap, 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 what, crap! What do I do? Him the trying to think was Stain just like. Leave. While I finish off this hero. Izuku about to was like. No. I can't. I have to stop you. I have to save him. What? As Izuku. With a huge gust of air pressure. Blows Stain away. Grabs native. And high tells it out of there. Stain just like. You could have easily defeated me. He just cared more about the hero. Staying feeling a mix of emotions, borderline pissed, 
a little offended as well as admiration towards Izuku. In which he actually follows Izuku while he's still carrying native. Killing any no moves actually do get too close to either one of them. Izuku hightailing it even faster into a crowd of heroes. Stain having no choice but to fight back but is overwhelmed through the sheer numbers. So, Stain is captured. He sees Izuku as somewhat of a true hero considering he was willing to let Stain go away just to make sure that Native was safe. And that will be in a part four. Yeah, I know some of y'all be really waiting for some of these parts of these older what-ifs. Believe me, yeah, things are just busy as all hell now.